someone who might have their job back is Mr. Tenar Jackson. You know what? He was reinstated. Um, I, I ask you this. Do you welcome him back with open arms? With open attack, arms and a kiss on the mouth, no homo. Because our secondary is that bad. I don't care how rusty he is. He's got to be better than what we saw on Sunday. Well, I'm not. I'm not. I mean, he's not going to play for a couple weeks. Don't well, care. But my thing is, is he screwed the team over twice. Like, is is it really that hard to just not smoke pot? Like, really? I don't know. I got a, number, a couple people I know that would uh, have strong objections to that question. All right, but if they if they were making millions of dollars and all they had to do is not smoke pot. Yeah, don't do that. You can buy really other good drugs. Yeah. Just don't smoke pot. That go through you really quickly. Huh? <laughs> and you're rich and you can afford all of them. So I do, you know, and. Uh, or do like us, you just get drunk. Yeah. <laughs> but um, Tenard was reinstated by the NFL after his drug issues he had last year. I think he's been out now for. Is that 20 something football weeks? He says he stayed in shape, but staying in shape and then being in actual playing shape are two completely different things. You know what? Like I said, eh, anything is better than what well, I Well, there, there are witness. the two rumors I heard today is that he could actually start this week because their secondary is just looking so awful. And the other one is that Josh Johnson might start the game against the Saints. Wow. Yeah. I mean, Freeman looked bad. <laughs> Freeman he, looked really bad. So he didn't I, look good. I'll tell you I, that much. I I would not. I mean, I'm not saying that. And you know, I I'm not saying I wouldn't want Josh Johnson to be. I wouldn't want him to take Freeman's job. But maybe Freeman just needs a week off to just, you know, sit there and hold a clipboard, make him feel a little bit maybe worse about himself. Or just ease your mind. Because from for what a I've bit. seen now of Josh Johnson, you and I said it, he could be a starter next year somewhere. Yeah. He could at least, like a team like Seattle, he could go there and at least compete for a starting job. He could. I'm not saying he's going to win it, but he could. Or, you know, maybe a place like Tennessee where he can be behind Hasselback for like a year and then start. Oh, yeah. You know, it's. I'm, I'm just saying. I am too. So, I mean. I, I'm i not saying I'd be for or against the idea because after what, I mean, like I said, he hasn't put together a full four quarters where I was like, damn, he wrecked shit. He did, he did his thing. I can't. I mean, that game against Minnesota, yeah, he helped us come back and win, but that first half. It was half, Minnesota. That first, one and four. That, that, that first half was god awful well and that's the other thing the the bucks in general suck in the first half i don't know what their deal is but if we only played like other than the 49ers if you only played the second half of each game they'd be really good unfortunately for them though there's there a, first a first half, half to every game half. yeah so i don't know what they got to do to get off to a good start in these games but they need to figure it out they need to or, do something i mean Three and three and two ain't bad, but four and one would have been a lot better. Yeah, and true. They got the best team in our division coming up uh, on Sunday, and if they look anything, anything what they look like on Sunday, I'm gonna say it right now they don't have a chance in hell. One well, and, and not to make any excuse because the way the Bucks played, there is no excuse. But they showed a stat where teams that have to play a Monday night football game and then travel to the other coast the following week have I think like only eight, win like eight percent chance. Yeah, I think it might have been like sixteen, but even that, you know, it's not good. There's still no excuse for, oh, no, for, they're, for getting ran through like the way oh, they did. I'm none, sorry. None at all. None at all. Well, like you said, um, you know, this is a big test this week. We'll see uh, what the Bucks are made of. Because if they if they lose that game, the Saints will be, what, 5-1 and one and we'll be 3-3? Three and three? Right. Uh, we'll be on the outside looking in already. So, get it together. Yeah. Let's do work, gentlemen. <laughs>